Have you ever seen enlarged veins that look kind of bluish and they're really kind of engorged and they kind of twist and wind around? Oftentimes we may see these on lower legs, lower extremities, etc. They can happen in many places, but lower legs, we oftentimes see them and they literally look like they're kind of squiggling, right? You know what I'm talking about? Um, they're kind of bluish. You can see them right underneath the skin. Those are very likely varicose veins. That's right. Many people have them. I'm going to tell you what the risk factors are, but more importantly, and, and treatment too, but more importantly, I'm going to tell you what the symptoms are. A lot of my patients have them and don't realize that some of the symptoms they've been experiencing are from those varicose veins. First of all, guys, uh, it's good to see you. I'm Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Uh, those veins sort of develop in the lower extremities. Those are varicosities or varicose veins. What happens is, is that in the veins, there's a one-way valve that allows blood to flow in one direction back to the heart. The valve stops working right, the blood starts to pool, and it can cause the vein to swell up. And that's what you see right underneath the skin when it looks kind of squiggly and it's sort of bluish color and things like that. It's an engorged vein. This is the thing. There are some people who are at higher risk for getting um, uh, varicose veins. That's uh, older folks, women, uh, more so than men, those who are obese, those who experience prolonged sitting or standing throughout the day, those who don't exercise. Of course, those people who have a family history, uh, pregnancy may be a, a risk factor as well. But this is the thing, all right? Uh, some of my patients will come in and they'll say, hey, Dr. Jen, I've been experiencing these symptoms and they'll describe them to me, but they won't actually realize it's due to their varicose veins. So I'm going to tell you exactly what those are because in some ways they may not, you may not guess them. So, so signs and symptoms of varicose veins, first of all, you don't have to have any symptoms at all. Sometimes those raised swollen bluish veins that sort of do a little bit of squiggling on your legs and stuff like that, you may not feel anything, but um, some people feel actually pretty severe symptoms. You can actually get itchiness in your lower legs. Yeah, believe it or not, your legs can start to get itchy. And that's, of course, assuming that your varicose veins are in the legs, right? They can be in other places too, but uh, it can cause itchiness. It can also cause a heaviness. Um, I oftentimes see this with lower extremity or leg varicose veins where people say, my legs just feel so heavy, Dr. Jen, or they start feeling achy, right? Like a heavy, achy feeling. Um, also, swelling of the legs can happen as well uh, as a result of varicose veins. Of course, you get those bulging bluish veins that I was discussing. Uh, sometimes people get really, really big ones and they literally kind of like just sort of are just like going around. Sometimes people have smaller ones so they can be different sizes. Um, this is the thing. Oftentimes these symptoms, the heaviness, the achiness is worse when people are on their feet for a while. So sometimes I've had people that are waitresses or that are standing up, that work at a bank or whatever, and it's particularly bad because they're always on their feet. Um, this is the thing. Um, you know, if, if varicose veins are allowed to continue, they can actually cause what we call chronic changes to the skin. The skin can sort of change colors. You can get, obviously, the swelling. The skin can get uh, thickened. It can get hardened. The tissue can change as well. But keep in mind, guys, what I'm talking about, this itchiness, heaviness, achiness. Oh, also, uh, sometimes there can be nighttime leg cramps as a result of varicose veins as well. So if you have any of these symptoms, by the way, you should be talking to your doctor anyway. You know what I say about this. Any symptoms at all, you got to talk to your doctor. But understand that sometimes heaviness, achiness, and things like that, you may not be thinking it's related to varicose veins that you knew you had. It, it, it could be, okay? Um, either way, for your varicose veins, for any leg symptoms, any symptoms at all, you got to talk to your doctor and make sure you know what's going on with your body. Treatment. There are treatment for varicose veins. I want to encourage you to exercise, to lose weight, keep a healthy weight. That's very important. Elevating your legs can be very important important. Your doctor may prescribe compression hose. There are also different procedures that can be done to, um, to get rid of varicose veins as well. So just know there are things that can be done. But that heaviness, the achiness, the itching of the skin, I always find um, is a little bit unexpected for patients. They never would have imagined that those are the symptoms that they're getting from their varicose veins. Obviously, excuse me, not obviously, but also nighttime cramps uh, and, and worsen symptoms when you're on your feet all day. Guys, I hope that's helpful. Um, you know, uh, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I, I kind of try to do topics that are going to be helpful for you guys. Let me know what topics you want to hear about. Uh, I certainly talk to you about topics that I see all the time in the office or that patients, um, you know, uh, always are asking about, but uh, I do want to know what's on your mind. If you have not subscribed to my channel and click the little bell, I invite you to do so. Also, uh, make sure that you keep it locked here. Let me know what topics you want to hear about. Also, consider joining my subscription groups on YouTube as well. Um, guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll see you soon.